from Accra to Johannesburg. An innovations revolution is unfolding in Africa, and the East African nation of Kenya is taking the lead. VOS Paul Ndiho was in Nairobi and has more to tell us. Paul? That's right, uh, Vincent. Uh, Africa innovation. Uh, young people in Africa are creating new technologies and applications that are driving the country's uh, economic growth. And uh, Kenya is turning a high-tech hub. Well, I just returned from there, and here is more. Thank you. African innovation is not receiving the level of global recognition and support it truly deserves. The continent is brimming with a rising a new generation of bold, creative thinking innovators and entrepreneurs who are inventing and developing new technologies that are simplifying lifestyles and transforming societies. If you are an aspiring entrepreneur, young innovator on the African continent, perhaps you should consider moving to Nairobi if you want to see your dreams come true. So many small companies started very, very small right here in the capital city, but have grown into multi-million dollar businesses. Five years ago, there was nowhere for developers to come together and grow. Today, IHUB is setting the pace up for Africa's tech revolution and putting Kenya on the global innovations map. It's early afternoon at the Community Business Networking Center. These techies are doing their thing, hitting cyberspace, typing away on laptops, iPads and smartphones. The main objective was to create a space for the local tech community to find a home. And over time, our main goal has been to catalyze the growth of the Kenyan tech community. And we've been doing that in a variety of ways through various initiatives. And we've seen over the years uh, a very fast-growing and evolving startup scene in Nairobi. But what we try and do as well is help people who are trying to set up similar spaces for their communities outside Nairobi to do that. because. Um, like in Kisumu, there's Lake Hub, and they're trying to set up. They've been, they've been, they've set up a space actually that's doing something similar there for people in the tech community. Innovation centers in Kenya, like iHub, are helping to incubate and train developers to launch their startups and access markets. There are a lot of uh, tech hubs uh, in Kenya here, yeah, especially here in Nairobi. Mm. Uh, but uh, uh, iHub stands out from all these places. What makes you guys uh, unique? We sort of have a free, um, a hands-off model on the, the people that get here. So we put them in one room and we let them really just flourish. So that means our vetting process also gives us some of the best candidates from all over. And then that, once we put them together, we trust that they're going to do something great. And a lot of the time, that's what's happened. Already, more than 125 companies have grown out of iHub. Many are dedicated to applying technology to Africa's specific problems. On a typical day, about 250 members stop by, allowing a couple of engineers to team up, exchange ideas, and sometimes make business deals. Above all, it has helped dispel the notion that Africa's tech community is somehow lacking in ideas, talent, or ambition. There are good developers, and so that that ready availability of good developers helps you to set up an internet business or a web-based business or a mobile-based business relatively easier than you might be able to in other countries in Africa. iHub hosts a wide range of events and workshops, including a Google Business Group and Google Developer Communities. iHub already provides working space for burgeoning new companies. They also support other tech hubs by providing them with technical training, mentoring, and business tools so that they can serve their growing startup ecosystems. Wow, this is rather cool. These are like sizzling brains here uh, with all sorts of ideas and creativity. Uh, what, what, what feeling did you get just talking to all these young fellows? Well, Vincent, I've never been very optimistic about uh, the future of Africa. Uh, and today I can uh, tell you that I'm very, very optimistic about uh, where Africa is going and where the young people are taking Africa. Yeah, because this is the kind of things uh, that people in the West never get to see. The typical story of Africa is uh, miserable people, hungry, sick. But yeah, we're seeing creators, innovators. People actually are coming up with not only ideas that exist in their minds, but what they 
create has been applied in society, right? Oh, Kenya is already dubbed as uh, the African Silicon Savannah. Uh, if I'm sure you've heard about yeah. that. And why is that? Uh, because a lot of people are going into Kenya. They're saying if people can, uh, let's say, for example, IHUB can start in Kenya or M-Pesa can start in Kenya, uh, Ushihidi can start in Kenya, yeah. why can't we do it? Yeah. So people from all over the continent are going to Kenya saying we need to be part of this yeah. We need to be the people leading the development of our country. We need to be up there challenging whatever Silicon Valley is doing in yeah. California. And, and to kind of reemphasize, they have built apps that are being used in particular sectors in the country and, and around the region, right? Oh, oh yeah, they're building apps that are not really working in Africa, but all over the world. Yeah. Take, for example, Ushihiri. Yeah. Uh, that's a crowdsourcing uh, software that yeah. has been used all over the world. Yeah. Every time there is a crisis, every time there is an earthquake, every time there is, it started right there at IHUB. Yeah. And there are some of the founding uh, fathers uh, of uh, IHUB too. Yeah. Well, I have to say that I, yeah. I noticed, uh, you know, that this is a kind of uplifting, dignifying story, even to those in countries like Kenya. You didn't just go to Kibera slums to tell us about uh, the filth um, and, and, and misery, but you're talking about the other side of the country that people never get to talk about, especially in the West. Yeah, you know what is interesting about uh, that uh, story? The faces you saw in that yeah. uh, piece are not just about uh, people from Nairobi. Yeah. They're people from Kibera. Exactly. But uh, they've come together, the group, they have said, oh, you know what? Uh, let the places where we come from not define what we do. Exactly. So they come from those places. It might be Kibela, it might be some other places, but the, when they're at IHUB, they're creating apps or they're creating things that are going to be used by everybody else in the world. Okay, yeah. yeah. This really dignifies the people, dignifies the continent. What else is in store? Because I know you were gone for some time. You have a lot you're going to share with us. Just some highlights. Well, I have a lot of uh, stories, especially in the area of innovation, in the area of entrepreneurship. Uh, uh, there is a lot happening on the continent, and uh, uh, I'll be sharing some of those stories uh, in the coming uh, days and weeks uh, uh, to come. Just very quickly, what are some of the challenges they face in as much as they create these young fellows? Uh, that's a very good uh, question, Vincent. Uh, most of the challenges are uh, really uh, the governments haven't built uh, an ecosystem where all these young people can come and incubate their ideas or turn their ideas into uh, something tangible. Yeah. The other challenge is about funding. Uh, yeah. A lot of them uh, don't have money or seed capital to start yeah. small businesses. So. Uh, Coming into uh, groups like that or coming and sitting at IHUB helps them to network and link up with people who might be potential funders. Right. For example, uh, Google. Yeah. Uh, and or we'll continue with yeah. that because of time. Google and others. We hope they all fund these people. Paul, thank you.